You know, uh, when you play 10 years in the league and you give your heart and soul to a franchise, I only played for one team. And the 10 years that I played, I never missed a game, never missed a practice, and started every game. That team changed. It left Houston. And when you get to be an old man and you go back to the school that you went to high school and, and you're working in that school system, you're trying to tell kids about what you did for a living. And you got to prove to it, thank God for internet <laughs> to be able to show those kids that that's what I've done. So when Amy reached out for us and reached out for the Houston Oilers to give us a place and a home to share and more than that, she made me an honorable member of Ring of Honor. That was such a blessing and certain, certain thing I will always cherish. She always have my heart and, and I always support her. Point though, like the Colts have been the Colts after they moved. The Rams have always been the Rams. The Raiders have always been the Raiders. Did, did the team name change and all that, did, did, did that hurt you guys at the time? Well, you got to understand, you know, um, for me, it did. I had I had hopes to be a Hall of Famer one day, and I was saying, That's, there won't be no more Houston Hall of going in there. In my mind, I didn't know that they was going to carry it over to the Titans. So when the name changed, it did have a mental effect on me. It was bittersweet, but now it's all sweet because of what Amy is doing today. What's it like to be here, Robert, I guess, with, with some of the guys you play with, some guys who are behind you in front of you, and there's kind of a reunion. So well, like I, I've been here, this will be my third visit to Tennessee, and every every time I've come, it's a little, a little bit, a little sweeter. For me to be here to see some of my old friends, y'all know what we've been under for the last two years, this COVID, when they, my wife wouldn't let me out the yard. So it was time for me to get out and visit some of my old friends and share some of these good memories and to make new friends. Because there's a lot of old Houston Oilers that well, after I, I had left Houston, I didn't know during like when the Warren Moon Cup, the Ernest Griffin and all these guys, I didn't know them. So I want to get a chance to rub shoulders and share some memories and a whole lot of good stories with them. I feel blessed. I feel blessed because of, I think some good things are going to come out of this franchise. You know, I hate to put it out there on the limb, but you know, this franchise is going to be something to deal, deal with. I see a lot of good talent. They got good leadership. They got good coaches. They got good players. And you know, you got a couple of people from my hometown from Alabama up here that's doing a pretty good job. So, you know, it's a winning spirit here. I feel it. You know, they just do what the coach asks them. What's your relationship like with Amy? I guess dating back to when she maybe when you first knew her, uh, you know, her daddy, and, and to where it is today. Well, it, it stems from her mom and dad, uh, Bud and his wife, and um, they raise good children, you know. And Amy is a mother. When a mother reach out and to take care of your children, I feel like I'm a part of the, her family. She reached out for us and reached out to us to to warm us to another new home. So we may be all us, but I think we're gonna all die Titans. Sunday might not even know who Bum Phillips is. What what do folks here need to know about Bum? I don't think it's gonna be too many people not knowing Bum. I mean, he's a character. He's got that swagger, and he's got a winning tradition behind him with his son, and he got a grandson that's coaching now at the Rams. So it's gonna be easy. And we can also Google that now. <laughs> playing for him. I mean, how fun was that? You got to understand, uh, I come from a family where my mom and dad is still both living today. And if you look at and ask my dad this question, do you have a son? He'll say, yeah, his name is Robert Brazil, but he also considered Bon Phillip as one of his fathers. So that's, how, that's what it means to me, having him as a father.